Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa with Lisa Cape and Quilts. Y'all know that I make quilts, t-shirt quilts on commission and a client dropped off her shirts for her quilt that I'm starting this week and uh, we went through the shirts. We did an inventory and I thought I'd make a quick video because I know lots of you uh, are either making your first t-shirt quilts or you just started making t-shirt quilts on commission and I thought I'd pass along this tip. This is going to be one of your greatest biggest tools <laughs> when taking quilts on commission. Grab yourself some painter's tape. Y'all you can use the painter's tape from the Dollar Tree if you want or get it at Walmart or you know any of the stores. Painter's tape. I have saved so much time when the client drops off their t-shirts. This was a great big bag of shirts, y'all, that we quickly went through. And instead of making a pages of notes like I used to do, years ago I switched over to using painter's tape. And let me just show you a couple of the ways that I use the painter's tape when the client is here. Uh, or I give these instructions to people who are mailing me their shirts, okay? And uh, instead of making pages and pages of notes, we go through each shirt and do a quick inventory. So just as an example, this shirt here has a small chest logo that she does not want to include in the quilt. So instead of writing down on the blue tie-dyed shirt, don't use the front chest logo, I just put some painter's tape on it. So anytime I see a crossed out logo with the painter's tape, I know that's not going in the quilt. And that just takes a second, right? So on this shirt, we're just using the back logo. So when I'm cutting apart and separating all the pieces for my quilt, I know when I get to this shirt, the front gets pushed aside and I'm only using the back. I also sometimes make notes on the tape. This shirt has a back logo that she wants to include in the quilt and it has a small chest logo, and she wants to make one block with both sections, the front and the back. We're gonna make one block of her quilt with both pieces. So with some painter's tape so it doesn't get lost, I've written myself a note with some black Sharpie so it doesn't wipe off on the other shirts while I'm working with it. And there's my note right there. So when I get to this shirt, I know this piece is going to go with this piece. Again, just marking through sides of the shirt that she does not want included. She wants to make sure we do not use the name on this back side. And then the front is the side that we're using. Back side we're not using, front side we're using. And you can quickly go through, let's see, we went through, wow maybe 35, 40 shirts really quickly, just like this. And I just have this sitting right on the table. Uh, shirts that have logos we're not using, I just mark them out. And shirts with special instructions, I add a piece of tape, write myself a note with the Sharpie, and keep on going. And that keeps everything flowing during your quilt appointment. And it keeps a record of all of those special instructions. Y'all know we get lots of special instructions when it comes to t-shirt quilts, memory quilts. Those are actually on the items of clothing that need those special instructions and they're not going to get lost <laughs> and they're not all jumbled up on some notepad somewhere. All right, there's my uh, little tip. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you really soon. Bye everybody.